All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is The Wolf Among Us, Episode 1, Part 2, Beauty is Up to Something. Come on out. All right, all right. Beauty? Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. You're out pretty late. Is there some sort of curfew I don't know about? What's with a third degree? I'm late. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Sure. You promise? I promise. Thank you, Bigby. I'll explain it all to you later. I will. But I have to go. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I I appreciate it, Bigby. Hey, you wink? Hmm, probably for the best. Flycatcher needs to dust this guy. I got any mail. Seventh day in a row.
Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? So, have you? I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it. Something's going on. Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. Got a smoke? Thanks. A couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. 
I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at Snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this... Will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Big B. Sometimes to get them to shut up, you just have to give them what they want. 